Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video on the Autovlog YouTube channel. So guess where I'm at? Yeah, you would never be able to guess. I am in Bowling Green, Kentucky, because my wife and I were on our way down to Florida. And uh, we drove all day yesterday. I didn't film much of that because it wasn't much to film. It was raining from Pittsburgh all the way down here. And we drove 491.6 miles. We've been averaging 16.9 miles per gallon. We are, of course, in the Raptor. And as you might be able to tell, it's still raining. So today we're doing that final drive down to where we're going in the panhandle of Florida. I think it sounds fine, the truck. <laughs> <laughs> here we are revving at a Hampton Inn. Love all the room we got back here. Yep. Back here. Back here. This is horrible. I gotta move from Pittsburgh. I don't wanna get that stupid accent. Back here. Back there. Alright, so anyhow. You guys might have seen that we hit a thousand miles while driving here. The truck had about 510 or something like that on it before we started the trip. So uh, it's safe to say that it's broken in, but we do need to get gas. All right, so we're going to get some gas here. And a few videos ago, we actually did our first fill up in the Raptor. And uh, the pump stopped at a hundred bucks. Remember that, honey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we thought. And we were like, and I was like, what? And then I got like probably 4,852 comments calling me a dumbass and you know saying you know it's a cutoff at a hundred dollars you idiot and that makes sense but I, I like we never I've, filled it up to that we've, we've never had a we've never event. had to think about that because I've never owned a vehicle uh, that cost more than a hundred dollars to fill up so I know that thought never struck me um, so but anyhow we're at 53 miles till empty here. Um, let's see what it costs this time and we'll walk out here and see what kind of gas prices they have in Bowling Green, Kentucky. All right, so it's slightly cheaper for 93. Let's start filling her up here. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle. <laughs> Same thing. I mean, it's saying that it is full, but 553 miles, let's just... Of course, it makes sense to uh, completely fill the truck up this time. Two bucks. Guys playing. And 32 cents, so we got 0.7 gallons. What a rip off. Okay, so it's still 553 miles to empty. Nothing changed. <laughs> I feel like I just wasted $2.32. I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Hey. Right now it's raining so hard that our windshield wipers are pretty much not fast enough. We, we can hardly see anything. Isn't that crazy? How do you feel right now, babe? <laughs> well, like I need a Xanax or something because you're going 80 past. Going 80. Yes, you were no, past all 65. of these trucks. And I'm just like, like clinging on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're filming and doing it, so that's really responsible. Well, I'm looking at the road. <laughs> so check this out. We've gone 677 miles so far. We're somewhere in Alabama. And no joke, we, I mean, to be completely honest, we probably had not more than 20 miles where it's not rain during this whole trip. And according to the weather app we looked at it, it's going to be raining in our destination of Florida as well when we arrived today. So pretty much a thousand mile road trip in constant rain across the whole freaking United States. It's ridiculous. How bad. <laughs> I can't even see anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Heather is so nervous right now. It's crazy. She's forcing me to keep it in 4A too, so we have all wheel drive. <laughs> it makes my it makes me have peace of mind, so I don't care. <laughs> and listen, you have been no, you have been driving pretty fast the whole way. We've pretty much stayed in the passing lane the entire way. And it's just a downpour. There's a huge storm coming from Texas, I think, right? Yeah. So we're hitting the whole thing. It's just nerve-wracking. Like, makes me 
nervous. Not him, though. <laughs> At one point, we were going 80, babe. Yeah, but you had it in too high. Hold on, yes, yes. Passing. No, we were going. Minute. Let me just tell them, okay? Don't interrupt. And then you can plead your case out and edit whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> but he would yeah. say, like, in this, we've been going 80, passing no. like double semis, like the FedEx ones. <laughs> we Hold on a second. Don't no, interrupt. No, I'm not. And it was in too high. Oh yeah, and then it did fishtail a little bit when you and you're like, oh, you know, that's traction yeah, control. Yeah, yeah. Like, look, right. look what we're being passed by here. Like a semi trailer. Right. 4 HP. How's that? 4 <laughs> HP. We're driving too slow. Oh my God. Now listen. At one point, I said, to him, well, why, you know, why don't why don't we just slap the Mercedes tires on here and make it even like, you know, let's just like it's everything. <laughs> As always, when Heather's in the videos, there's going to be a lot of bleeping. Because like, I'm nervous right now. It's scary to drive in this. <laughs> like 80 miles an hour and I'm passing all these huge semis. Oh, God, <laughs> kill me now. We're getting passed by Kia Sportage. All right, I didn't say you had to go 20. I'm 40. going 65. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. And look at this beach. The sand here is just white as snow. It's absolutely gorgeous. My wife, uh, she lived down here in her high school years. So that is why we're here. Favorite spot in the world, huh, baby? Yeah, just look at, it looks like a white desert almost. It does. Uh, it's absolutely awesome. Now I've been trying to throw the drone up. Um, and I, I, I will get some awesome drone shots, but we are right by, it's Eglin Air Force Base, correct? Yes. One of the biggest Air Force bases in the country? This is one of their spots, yeah. It's, they have different locations all over. I don't know what this helicopter is doing. So we're obviously here just to uh, take a few days off. Um, of course, I'm not leaving you guys completely hanging. There will be a video, this video right here, possibly another video as well, and tomorrow, we're going out here on jet skis. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. I, I can't wait. But just look at the beauty of this place. The water is turquoise. It's still not as green as it usually gets because of it being a storm here a few days ago, but it's just, it's beautiful. Florida's best kept secret, Destin. She's happy as a lurk. She loves this place. She never wants to be filmed, but I don't know why. She's so beautiful. So let me know in the comments, anyone that's been to Destin before, leave a comment down below. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Your head looks extra white with all that surfer zinc on it. So we got our own private little lagoon right here. Kind of created by the sand dunes itself. And this water is so clear. All right, beach time is over. And we got 1,576 miles on the Raptor so far. How many miles you got on me? Got plenty of miles on you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and we've averaged 16.1 miles per gallon for those who are wondering, well, what the hell is this guy doing? Cooling things on. Yeah, we gotta have the cool seats on. Check out this truck. What is this? 
Black diamond, it says. Whoa. Man, I could deal with that. <laughs> totally. My type yeah, of thing. Calm your ass down there, woman. You got a raptor. Shit, look at that thing. Look at the three doors. I know. That's crazy. What is a black diamond? All right, so what are we doing today, baby? Jet ski. Jet skis. Around the sharks, man. <laughs> Around the sharks. Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> awesome. Can't wait. No, we've done this once before. We had a blast. So we're hoping this will be even better this time. And well, it's a beautiful day, so I don't see why it wouldn't be a blast. It's not too windy. Uh, it's a little windy, but uh, hopefully it's not too choppy on the water. A friend of ours owns the place that is going to provide the jet skis and he said that you know the waters are calmer now so I think it'll be all right today. And this will be a first on the channel uh, when it comes to we say water motor vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Extreme H2O sports. <laughs> right. It's going to be on the water. But it's gonna, it's gonna, I mean, these things are fast. They do like 60 miles an hour on the water. And when, when you go 60 miles an hour on the water, it feels a lot faster than hey, 60 you know, miles an you hour. You know what else they have there, babe? You know how, um, it's I hate one of those, this feature. I don't know what it's called. It's one of those newer things where you go up in the air and it jet, like a right, jet right, thing right, and it spins right. around. I think they have that too. Oh, that'd be sweet. Don't know if we have time for that today, but. No, I'm just saying, we could, we could list. try that too, yeah. So during this vlog here, I know it's been sort of all over the place um, because you know the focus hasn't been filming when, when we went down here. It's been to relax and have a little vacation. And well, the thing is, I guess we haven't really talked about how it was actually driving this truck that you know for a thousand miles. We only kind of complained about the weather. But the one feature I used a lot was adaptive cruise control, and that was excellent. Otherwise, just very very comfortable car on yeah. a long or truck on a long road trip correct oh, these yeah. seats are amazing uh, in comparison to our other f-150 you know which is a half ton truck as well this one just feels more stable it is six inches wider it feels bigger on the road just very very nice to, to drive it's like driving a house like a mini house you don't even feel like you're you know it's just so luxurious and comfortable and it's big and you're it's just comfortable. I don't know what else to say. It's like a cockpit or something. Yep. But uh, yeah, see you guys on the water. Make sure you get it. All right, so uh, our jet skis here. I, the fastest I've gotten it is 50 miles an hour. So I, th I think they're kind of uh, limited to 50 miles an hour. So what we're going to do now is a zero to 50 run in this Yamaha. I don't even know what type of Yamaha it is. I'm not a way runner expert whatsoever. We're going to get it in POV style as well, of course. You look like such a nerd, like, with that on. Here we go. Oh, God. Here's the speedometer. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. These things haul ass. All right, we're going to have to redo that. We're gonna go in that direction. One, two, three. So I know it's super windy out here, but we hit 51. I don't know how long it took, but we got to get back to Heather. Oh my God. Oh my God. If he flew off right now, it would be like hitting cement. Uh, 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 uh. I'm 
So if I haven't said it enough already, uh, thank you to everyone that supports my channel that, you know, I can actually do something like this and, uh, you know, film it, create content for you guys and have it be my life. I'm extremely grateful to be able to uh, do this. Very blessed, very humbling. It's just amazing and I, it, it's cool that I can share it with you guys as well. I mean, you, you're not physically here, but at least I can make a video for you guys. All right, here we are going under the Destin Bridge. There's another beautiful beach. I mean, look at this water. Just look at it. I feel like I'm in the Pirates of the Car Caribbean. It's a shark! Shark! It's a shark! It's a shark! Shark, I swear to God, it wasn't a dolphin either. You can tell the difference. And I'm not trying to scare it at all, I'm just fascinated. It's a freaking shark right there. It's a shark. I don't know what type of shark it is. It's it's not very big, but it is definitely a shark. I don't know how well you guys can see that though. <laughs> but damn, a shark. Look at the dolphins. Oh wow, there's like four of them. <laughs> oh, they're right underneath. Yeah, she's swimming with the, this girl over here is swimming with the dolphins. And here they are. Look at oh, look how many! There's like eight of them. Oh wow, this is a once in a lifetime with this many. How awesome is this? It's a whole family. Wow. <laughs> Look at Heather. I know, they're so beautiful. Wow, look at them. I know, there's a little baby, there's a whole family. So uh, we're pulling back into, I guess, the uh, Destin Harbor here to give the Wave Runners back. Absolutely amazing day. We've had so much fun. I mean, the dolphins in itself. I mean, like, when do you even experience stuff like that? It's, I mean, it's unexplainable. It's so awesome. But I want to give a special shout out to Extreme H2O Motorsports who uh, hooked us up 
with these awesome wave runners. So big thanks to Jason. So if you're ever in Destin and you want to get wave runners, definitely hit them up. I'll have all their contact information in the description below. All right, so again, if you guys are ever in Destin, check out Extreme H2O Motorsports for jet skis, pontoons, parasailing, fishing trips, and dolphin tours. Absolutely awesome. All right, so we're back at our condo here, and I, I know that this video has been different because it's been uh, mainly a vacation video. I mean, it started off with the road trip in the Raptor, but the reason why we drove down here is to have a vacation. So you've seen a lot of awesome footage, although it's been different. Uh, it's not typically, you know, all car related, but you know, I had to put this in the vlog. I mean, how often do you see a shark while you're on a wave runner? And right after that, you see about, I think it was like seven or eight dolphins. It's the whole family of them. I mean, it was just absolutely amazing. This day was perfect. And it's actually Sunday, April 1st. So it is Easter. So I wanted to say happy Easter to everyone, to all my subscribers, everyone that supports the channel. Again, I want to thank you guys for always sticking with me. Uh, it means so much to me and I can't do this stuff without you. I've said that so many times, but I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I, I truly hope you guys enjoy this video. I know the uploads haven't been, you know, every other day like they usually are, but that's because we are on vacation. But with that being said, we're going to end the video. We're going out to dinner. Uh, we will have one more video coming from Destin here. Uh, I don't know exactly when that'll be uploaded. Hopefully uh, the day after tomorrow. But again, happy Easter. If you enjoy the video, you know what to do. And if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.